Hey, this is Steve, and I'm going to talk you through the steps I took to get this David Bowie portrait put together. I'm not exactly a portrait artist, so I had to kind of figure this one out from the get-go. And if this can be of any help to any of you artists out there, well, then so be it. Um, David Bowie died, and it was uh, a big shock. There's really nobody cooler, I think, that has probably lived on planet Earth. And in the days after his death, I really felt like I wanted to express how I was feeling somehow. And I saw this shot from his Black Star video and was really struck by it. I liked the idea of painting David Bowie as he looked right before he died, as opposed to going back and doing Ziggy Stardust or, you know, kind of the glam glory years or the 80s years. So this is where I landed on this image. So as far as the steps that went into this, uh, you can see that just past in the early part of the video, I did a line tracing of his face. So I imported the image into Procreate, which is the super fantastic app. And if you have an iPad Pro and a pencil, I mean, you need to get the app. I think it's only about seven bucks. It is the best seven bucks you'll spend on an app in your life, and I guarantee you that. Um, I imported a screenshot and then did a line drawing. So I had the proportions of his face set and I knew that I was kind of working within kind of exact parameters. I'm not super great at looking at something and sketching directly from that. So did the line drawing, then got rid of the picture and started filling in the skin tones, the hair on the top right there. You can see it was kind of getting into some detail. Uh, at this point, it's already gotten pretty detailed. Um, blocked out the skin tones, tried to get a nice feel for uh, the lightness on the left side of his face, the darkness on the right side of the face. You can see the book and the hand that he's holding, which is blurred in the shot. Save that till last. I really kind of wanted to get to a point where I felt like it was cooking and that it was really something worth working on. So I focused on his face and the eyes and the details first. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but that's how this one went. Um, right there you see working on the background, starting to flesh out the book on the left side. Um, if you have an iPad Pro, one of the cool things is the split screen feature, which means you can drag from the right side of the screen and see something else as you're working in your main app. So what I did was I kept the original screenshot of David Bowie off on the right side of the screen where it kind of shows a third of whatever app you want and I kept that picture up and I kind of kept looking at it all the time trying to A, B what I was doing, trying to make sure that the, the tones were right. Um, blocked most everything out in big colors and the shades, get the tone together and then as you can see at this point I was really getting into the detail. So getting into the fine wrinkles around his eyes, the eyebrows, uh, you know, laugh lines, details in the neck. Uh, Bowie was just one of the cooler looking humans as well as being one of the most talented and artistic uh, artists that we've ever known. And I just think that his face itself just has this kind of alien beauty. And even as an old guy, uh, just trying to duplicate that was all that I was trying to do. Um, turned out pretty well, pretty happy with it. Um, again, I started with a line drawing, so I can't say this is some masterwork of, of observation, but pretty pleased how it turned out. And it was really a joy to work on with the, the iPad Pro and the pencil and Procreate. And got to a point where I felt like, uh, I hope I did him justice. <laughs>